right, in this lesson we're going to be talking about counting atoms. This is going to be important because it's going to lead directly into balancing equations, which will be coming up later in the week. So when counting atoms, there's three simple steps. Name the elements, use subscripts, and distribute coefficients. All right. The first step is to name the elements. So for this, we're going to use our periodic table, which you can find in the back of the book or um, pretty easy with an internet search. So if we look at the molecule H2O, your letters are your elements. So H stands for hydrogen, and if you look on the periodic table, it looks kind of like this, a capital H. And the O is oxygen, and it looks kind of like this um, on your periodic table, a capital O. If you look, there's also one that's a capital H, lowercase o, and that's not the same thing. That would be holmium, um, which would be written as, like it is there, H, lowercase o. But all your capital letters are elements, and if you see a capital and a lowercase, that's a different element. Second thing is you're going to use your subscripts, and the subscripts only to go to what is in front of them. So for instance here, H2O again, your 2 gets uh, placed with the hydrogen that's in front of it. So that would be two hydrogens. A molecule of it would look like this. One oxygen, and then your two hydrogens. So two, and then there's an understood one behind the oxygen here. So one oxygen. One oxygen, two hydrogens. All right, this one, the same rules apply, it just looks a little bit more complicated. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which I've put here, and then six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Same thing again, the two goes with the carbon in front of it, the six goes with the hydrogen in front of it, and then there's the oxygen by itself with the understood one behind it. Step three, you have to distribute your coefficients and your subscripts if there are parentheses. Um, this is similar to a math equation that you've been talking about where you're using the distributive property. So you have a two, this is your coefficient, and it gets applied to everything that's behind it. So two goes to the H2, and the two goes to the O. So this is essentially saying this is one water molecule, two H's and one O. This is multiplying that by two. So now I have two water molecules, one and two. And then I just add up all the different atoms that I have. So there's two times two is four, or I could look at it this way, one, two, three, four hydrogens. There are two oxygens, one and two oxygens. This is the last one, and it's probably the most complicated one. So here you have to use multiple, all, actually all three of your rules. First, you're going to name. So here's a capital C, lowercase a. So that's going to be calcium. Capital P is phosphorus. Capital O is oxygen. And then we have both subscripts. We have subscripts and subscripts and parentheses. So in this one, the three goes with your calcium, there's an understood one, the four goes with the oxygen. However, you also have the subscript out here outside of the parentheses. These also get distributed. So this two goes in here to the P, and the two goes here and is applied to the oxygen. So two times one gives you two phosphoruses, two times four gives you eight oxygens, and then we have our three calciums from the beginning. And that is how you count atoms.